That is a hard adjustment. That's why I wanted just to go, just to work it a little bit, and then notice what was what's missing, right? So you need to be pigeon-toed. Doesn't work if you're like this. And you need to be stepping down them. Right? If I'm up here, so go to the side so I can show, yeah. So if I'm here, then I'm just going to stick my knees in her back, right? I'm too far back. So instead, I want to step down her thighs a little bit so that I'm using the flat part of my shins to just make sure that she understands she's keeping this forward, right? Then she's going to interlace her fingers behind the head. She's going to squeeze the elbows till they're shoulder width apart. And then I'm using my forearms on her trapezes. And then I'm reaching under. OK, so that's the first part. Now, to make her feel like she's opening the chest, I lift at the same time as I'm pushing a little bit with my shins. OK, and now, see, her head ends up getting, her neck is cranked up a little bit. But we're going to take care of that. So now I'm going to release. I'm going to place one hand on her upper back. She's going to reach to her feet or ankles or wherever. And I'm going to use my other hand to guide to keep the neck long. OK? 